Can you hear that? So that's my new server. I'll, I'll try and reduce that noise. It's um, somewhat off-putting. Yeah. <laughs> One way of putting it. So th my new server is here, and I've installed FreeBSD on it just to get it up and running, test it, make sure it's okay. So we're going to have a, just a, a quick look at it, and then just discuss my plans for it. I have no idea if this audio is going to be usable. Please bear with me. I'm sorry about it. It's going to move. It's not staying in here. Obviously, it's just it's just too loud. So I'm logged into SSH. This is not a special server by any means. It's a second-hand one. It's one that I found on eBay. It cost me 25 quid. For the rest of the world, that's probably about $30. It's cheap. No disks. I've got to try and source some, some SAS disks and maybe an SSD or two. And then I've got to run some networking to get this out of this room and, and, and into our outhouse, which is nice and waterproof and cool, and it can live in there. So let's have a quick look at it. There we go, running on uh, FreeBSD 14.1. It's not been rebuilt or anything. This is purely out of the box. Uh, let's have a quick look at the D message, just so you can see. So two processors, four cores each, two hardware threads. So that's given me eight cores, 16 threads. We've got AES and I. We've got two NICs and IPMI. IPMI is going to be great once I've um, reset the password on this thing because it's only got VGA capturing video on this is going to be quite difficult. So yeah, my IPMI will be quite invaluable. Now my plans are that I'm going to install a hypervisor but not a free BSD one. So it'll probably be Proxmox. Everyone's using Proxmox these days. What with uh, what's happened with the um, the other hypervisor, I can't for the life of me remember the name of it now. VMware is the one with it being bought, licensing all changing and all of that. So I'll probably just use Proxmox. In fact, let's have a look. Let's get the latest version of it now. Eight point two. Yeah. So we'll have some of that. Have it. I'd like to set up myself a NAS for all my video editing needs. Maybe a few VMs for doing my Windows or uh, FreeBSD or Linux stuff. What else is of note on here? Uh, yeah, came with 24 gig of memory, so that's a good starting point. I'm not sure how much it can take, actually. Um, processor, is it? Uh, there you go. L5630. So that's a good look. See. So maximum memory is 288 gig. I'm not putting that much in there, especially when it's DDR3. I don't think this board will take it. It's a super micro server. It should do nicely for a starting point. Very loud. Very, very loud. Which is fine once I put it in the right place. But we'll get to that when it happens. So yeah, I'll um, I'll probably go ahead and get the IPMI password changed shortly. Um, DMI DE code. That's what. Let's install that. Get that installed. DMI DE code. I'm assuming that this thing will need some BIOS updates because it's quite old. There you go, 2010 BIOS update. Yeah, Let's see if we can find it. Looks like it was done 2018. Let's get free DOS. Yeah, it's um, it's going to be a lot of fun playing with this. I think interesting serial number. Interesting to see what size sticks they are. So they're going to be threes, four, eight. No, they're going to be fours. Twelve gig of memory per CPU. So yeah. Anyway, my plan is get it out of this room, set up the hypervisor, and I'm good to go to make loads more content. And hopefully, that's what you guys want. Just need to get some SAS disks and a couple of SSDs, and I'm I'm up and running. I think so. Yeah. Come back and see how it goes. It should be fun. See you in the next video. Bye-bye. Stop doing this. See you in the next video.